What is up, everybody? Welcome to Optimal Self Live. Uh, so glad you're here. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, as excited as ever to uh, to come to you guys and, and, and give you. Um, so I wanted to go over this today, uh, something that's been uh, kind of like heavy on my heart a little bit, like some of the things that, you know, that we talk about with identity and habits and and how do we truly become our optimal self and the question i want to ask and and i ask myself this all the time is that am i getting in my own way am i the one causing my my own problems am i the one stopping myself from living the life that i truly want and deserve and so i want to ask you guys that question today ask yourself answer it are you the one because nine out of ten times it is us. We are the ones holding ourselves back. We are the ones limiting ourselves to being and having the most amazing world and the most amazing life. And so what I want you guys to think about today is, as I was reading earlier, there was a quote that came over. It comes from As a Man Thinketh um, by James Allen. Some of you guys may have read that. I think you read them somewhere around that like seventh or eighth grade in, in most schools. And the quote goes like this. People are anxious to improve their circumstances, but are unwilling to improve themselves. They therefore remain bound. I'm gonna read it again, okay? People are anxious to improve their circumstances, right? We all want better circumstances. We all want bigger. We all want, we all want this better life. We all see these things, right? Again, the comparison in, in, in all this. So the circumstances but we are unwilling to improve themselves. Thus, they remain bound. So think about that. Think about the fact that our circumstances can only change if we change. Your circumstances, I hate to say this because I know people have had really tough lives. I know there's people out there that have been, you know, um, gone through some, some grave trauma in their life. But as you grow into this adulthood, as you're moving into this world, into this life, you have every single opportunity to change your circumstance. You get to write this book. Guess what? You can literally turn the page. It's blank. You get to write it today. You got to write today's chapter. You got to write today's page. So what did you write? What were the thoughts in your head? What was the narrative going on? Did you prepare? Did you plan? Were you ready to have an amazing day? Because that's the truth about every time you turn that page every single day, is that you get the opportunity to write it. So that means where, what you pick up is the first thing you go to is your, is your phone. Are you, are you checking emails? Are you on social media? Are you going through all these other things? Is it a television set? Are you on some station that's, that's filling you with negativity? Think about it because this is your opportunity. But in As a Man Thinketh, James Allen says, so many people want to change their circumstance, but they're not willing to change themselves. Well, that was the time. This is your opportunity. This is it. It's your chance to become your optimal self. It's your chance to be the best version of you. It, all, it just starts with one good decision, one good day. That's all it takes, right? I've had weight loss clients. I've had fitness people in my world. I've had business people that I coach still to this day that make millions of dollars. And you know what? Every, everybody fails. Everybody has a bad day. It goes down and over and over. Like everybody to a person. And you know what I get when I, when I hear that person and they go, oh my gosh, I went out or I, I did this last night and I ate the cheesecake or I ate this or I, we ordered pizza, it was a birthday party, whatever. I said, it's okay. You're human. That just means you're human. Because you're one good meal from being right on track nutritionally. You're one good workout. You're one good walk from being right back on, on yourself physically. Your one minute or one time of, of good reading or journaling to getting my mindset back on path. Your one good day at work 
your one good decision at work to being right back on path and getting that business where you want it to go. One. Don't look at the end. But when your circumstances aren't what you want, stop looking at everything around you and start looking at yourself. Because we're always willing to change our circumstance, but are we really willing to change us? Is it us that's holding us back? Well, I'm here to tell you again, you have the opportunity to live this life how you want to live it. You are enough right now. You're smart enough. You're good enough. It's in you. It's time to bring it out. It's time to get out of your own way and start to grow yourself. If you want to improve your circumstance, improve yourself. You got this. All right. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope this, if this resonates with you, please write something in the chat, send me a message. I love seeing them. Um, we're going to be looking for some of you guys uh, to, to come on board and, and maybe do some videos with us. We're going to start bringing on some guests. Um, so if you're interested, if that is of interest to you and you're getting some benefit from any of this, please, like always, share it. That's the only way we grow. We want to build this community. We want to build a platform that's large enough and big enough and safe enough for you guys to all understand that we're all in this thing together. This is tough, but, but, but together we can get through it. All right. So again, please join us, OptimalSelf.today, pre-register, lots of stuff coming, and uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Take care.